What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys a short tutorial on how to make your muzzle flares, muzzle flashes look like they're behind the gun. See a lot of times you come into a situation where the muzzle flash isn't directly in front or perfectly on the side. And the way that I do to make that look like it's behind the gun is I use masking. So the simplest way to do that is again I, I like to take a nice look at the footage and see what's going on there just to see what it's what I'm gonna have to do for it and I think I'm gonna start shooting right about there now I'm gonna pull in an Action Essentials 2 asset which is just a set of muzzle flashes that um, that are already set up I usually don't like to use pre-made muzzle flashes where they're already lined up into a you know you have a whole bunch already placed together I usually like to get a bunch of my of single ones and put them together the way that I that I think looks good but again this is just a short tutorial so I'm just gonna make it as easy as possible so once we have the footage, we place it in where I want it. That's very important to get it, get the scale and the position where I want it to be before I start masking it out because it, it kind of gets a little complex once you put the mask on there and then you want to start moving it around. But what I do is I, with that layer selected, I go and grab the pen tool. And what I like to do is turn it off from here. That way I don't see it but I can see what's going on behind it and that just makes it easier so I can start drawing out what I don't want to be seen for the muzzle flash so here are if you haven't used the mask tool I really strongly suggest that you get to know it um, it's pretty pretty easy once you start playing with it but you gotta you really have to get the practice in a lot of time what I do is I just click and then if I want something that's more of a curve say right here I'll put a little curve there just what I do is I click and I drag and that way you get a nice curve going but so also a nice little f feature to know about when you're using the pen tools, say if I mess up, if I click right here, if I hold down the space key, I can place it wherever I'd like. Very, very handy to know, so you don't have to sit there and click back all the time. But I, really, I always like to get my mask as close as possible to the way I like it, the way I want it. And we'll put it right around there. Because my muzzle flashes in front, my muzzle ends up going in front of that brick. So I want to get rid of all that. So now when I turn on, turn this on, you're going to see it like this. That's because the mask is on add mode. So I'm going to, with that layer selected, I'm going to hit M. And it's going to pull up my mask options. And I'm going to pull this down to, and I'm going to click on subtract. This way, everything that I've outlined with my mask is now being subtracted from my muzzle flash. Now it's, it's a little bit off from where I'd really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this. I'm going to move this over and you're going to see that you know this is why you really want it positioned right where you want it from the beginning instead of going having to go back and do this. But all you have to do is go back down here, click on mask, and with the arrow keys I can move it over to line it back up with my with my footage and that looks about right so now we have a pretty solid auto flash and now what you would do is for this specific one you can you can move say I think three frames forward and now you'll see the next muzzle flash and what I would do is click on the P for position, bring up your position keyframes, 
click on the t stopwatch and I'll go back over here and click keyframe so now between here and here these three frames I'm gonna want this to move to where the gun is but the problem is you'll see that the mask is now not matching up now the way that I go about fixing this is again I hit the M key to bring up the mask and right here it says mask paths now this once I hit the stopwatch and I'll go back to the beginning and add a keyframe there as well in between here I can change any of these points I can go in here say if I want to take the mask and move it over or to somewhat get it lined up where I want it I can just move it and move it and now in between here you'll see that the, the actual keyframes move to that position so all any point you can go and move in between this keyframe and it'll move to that point so say I wanted to get in here real close and you'll see this little square on the thing if I click that that brings up my options to get in there and really start moving these around and and the cool thing is I can actually select a whole bunch of them just like this and that can make your life a little bit easier and you go around and you just redo the mask to line up with what you want it to and that way it'll end up looking good but that is pretty much the gist of how to get your muzzle flash to look like it's behind the gun um, again you can instead of using the pre-made automatic fire you can use a single muzzle flash and then just go in there and retrace it out each time it is kinda of time consuming but the end result is is really good if you haven't got a chance to look at my previous video um, it is called uh, modern warfare uh, black ops future interface. Uh, the link will be posted below so you can check it out and uh, I'll let me know what you think and if you get a chance subscribe to my to my feed. Thanks a lot guys.